So now that we have two VXN VPN fabrics interconnected over a core networks with all switches on onboarded in NDLC, we can automate the deployment of multi-site. To give to NDFC the infrastructure intent for deployment automation, a role is given to each node. Border Gateway role is no exception to the rule. The Border Gateway can be a Layer 3 based AnyCAD Border Gateway deployed at the leaf layer. And currently, you can have up to six AnyCAD Border Gateway. It can be deployed in a VPC Border Gateway mode to locally dual attach Layer 2 networks or endpoints. With the VPC Border Gateway mode, it supports the function of distributed AnyCAS Gateway for locally attached endpoints. And for the latter, if needed, you have to enable it in the network advanced profiles for each fabric and per network. Some enterprises may wish to initiate the functions of Border Gateway from the spine layer with the role of Border Gateway Spine or you can even enable AnyCast Border Gateway from the Super Spine layer. Remember, only layer 3 AnyCast Border Gateway can be deployed from the Spine and Super Spine layer. VPC is not supported at the Spine layer. Now, NDFC automates the deployment for VXLAN EVPN multi-site in few clicks, and this is very visual. The first action is to create a new fabric. Select uh, the MSD template type and make sure that the border gateway used for the interfabric connectivity have been set to the border gateway role. Then move the fabrics you wish to interconnect together into the multi-site domain. And if you wish to automate the deployment of the interfabric connectivity with an external layer 3 network, you can move the external fabric to the multi-site domain. Then recalculate the configuration when ready. And if you wish, you can uh, preview the configuration push to the um, border gateways on each fabric. And then deploy and you will be ready to extend overlay networks across your multi-site domain. So for the demo, remember, we have the two VXN EVPN fabrics, Fabric 1 and Fabric 2, interconnected together uh, over a core layer. And what we want to do is to fully automate the configuration of the underlay and overlay between the two sites. Let's have a demo. From the NDSC topology menu, you can see the two VXLAN EVPN fabrics interconnected across the WAN network. As previously, you need to add a new fabric that you can call uh, MSD, for example. Select the fabric template type VXLAN EVPN multi-site. And because you want to fully automate the deployment of multi-site end-to-end, including the core routers, you need to expand the DCI tab. From there, change the multi-site overlay method to direct to border gateway. This method will automate the deployment of uh, BGP protocol between the border gateways in a full mesh fashion. Enable multi-site underlay IFC and uh, BGP send community on multi-site underlay for interconnect fabric connectivity. These parameters tell NDFC to auto-configure all the interfaces on both sides that interconnect border gateways and co-routers together. This is the reason why the Wayne fabric has been set to manage mode previously, as well as all the routers configured with the co-router role. If you want, you can change the loopback IP range for the multi-site, as well as the uh, subnet IP range for configuring the interfaces used for multi-site connectivity. With that in mind, you know that when the next hop for an endpoint reachability information is 10.100. something, then it comes from the remote side. Do a save. And now go into Fabric 1 to change the role of the spine to border gateway spine. You can select multiple devices if you wish to change the role of uh, the two spine nodes at once. With the right click, set the role and select border gateway spine.
Then you need to recalculate for NDFC to get your intent. And you can preview the configurations. You can see the creation of interfaces loopback 0, loopback 1, and NVE1 have been created for the VTEP functions, for example. You can deploy the configurations now. Do the same for fabric number two. And here you select the rule of border gateway as initially there are leaf nodes. And recalculate. NDFC will change all interfaces of the border gateway nodes from switch port trunk initially to no switch port. This is to explain the high number of lines. This done, move to MSD scope. From there, you need now to move into the MSD fabric, the Fabric one, the fabric number two, as well as the WEN. You can arrange the placement of the fabrics as you wish to better reflect the view of your multi site topology. And now you can recalculate and deploy the multi site. As you can see, new configurations are ready to be pushed for all the border gateways and the core routers. You can preview, for example, the configuration for the core routers 101. And that shows uh, the IP address of the routed interface connecting the border gateways as well as the uh, BGP configuration with its neighbor. Now you can deploy. It will take less than a minute to deploy the configuration to all the switches, but the video has been accelerated a bit. Back to the topology. You can open the detailed view to check the link automatically created by NDFC. You can do a search for the policy names that contain multi. You can see the full links created for the underlay used to configure the routed interface. And you can see the full links for the overlay that interconnect the border gateways together over the underlay. Now we have an end-to-end -end multi-site infrastructure ready to deploy the overlay networks and VRF.